Hi everyone, it's Greg here and with Heidi. It's Greg and Heidi's kitchen again today and today we're going to be making something that Heidi's been talking to me about, about how it's like the fluffiest and best <laughs> omelette in the world. And that's what we're making today, Okay, right? we are going to share it with you. This is something that I, when I'm on TV in China, they'll say, can you make me a really healthy five minute dish for children? It's like, okay, how can I get all the nutrients in there and make it like absolutely amazing that adults would also want to have it. I was thinking like, you're into that kind of stuff. You're into like fast, easy and fabulously delicious, right? Uh -huh. That's right. Okay. And that's Greg's Kitchen to a T. <laughs> and one of the things is is that it like you you know if you're if you're someone that is cooking constantly at in a restaurant or something um you know you've got amazing skills but if you're just someone at home just does a daily dish you might not have all that and this is so simple well so we started out. all right so i actually do a bit of a trick because i want it to be super fluffy so i use um, i'm going to do three just to sort of make it a full meal for you because we're gonna put all of our eggs into this. I'm gonna just put this to the side. Do you think it's weird that I'm putting this into the blender? Well, <laughs> no, because you told me already you were going to, but still, <laughs> yes. I mean, have you ever seen an omelet made in a blender? Well, I haven't, this is my first time. I know, but this is what makes it super frothy. And we're gonna put some milk in if you like almond milk or you want cashews, also great. A lot of Chinese people don't like dairy, come and push on your knife. So instead of putting it through the blender, if you don't have a blender, use your egg and put soda water into it. And that, yeah. And it just makes it go. Minus the vodka. My, minus the vodka because we. Oh, come on. You know. Yeah, we should we could try that. Yeah, but not exactly. today. So I'm going to put some salt and that, and you're going to be cooking today if you don't I'm mind. Cooking, yeah. I'm going to put some salt in it just to give it some flavour. Now, we can put. I'm going to make it slightly green. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to put some spinach into this and I'm going to blend it up in it. Oh. And this is my trick if you've got a kid to put it into it and blend it up together and they go, oh my God, it's a green omelet. You don't have to do it. You could just chop up the spinach and put it in after with the herbs. But I'm going to show you how to do it and then you guys can choose what you Perfect want. for St. Patrick's Day. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. I mean, yeah. the good old Irish. Um, That's and, quite a lot of milk you put in there. Yeah, well, we had three eggs. It's quite, you know, what well, were you thinking you were going to eat this all on your own? Well, no, well, I, I, normally I would have just put maybe a dash of milk in, but well, no, that's a, that's a, that's a good serving of milk. I want to give it, you know, some body. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's blend this and make it frothy. Okay, now we're not, ma you're thinking we're making another whiskey sour, right? <laughs> oh, I wish. Okay, we don't want it to be crazy. Um, we're not making a milkshake. So let's get, is that turned on? Yes, it and is. And I'm gonna get you to cook this, okay. if you don't mind. Yeah, so I'm an all pro. It's a, it's a Teflon, you know, so it's a, it's a non-stick pan. It's so non-stick. But we're still gonna add a bit of olive oil. Well, that's what I mean anyway. Because it tastes good. It gives that extra flavor. Oh, look at that. You know, there are two things. You know when you wake up to the smell of coffee is amazing. Mm. But I also think when you're cooking a dish, like dinner or lunch, the smell of olive oil starts me going, oh, what's gonna go in next? It's oh, like, yeah. oh my God, onions and oh, this mm. is gonna get crazy. So we wanna get that to a nice heat, um, warm enough. And then what we're gonna do is, once you think that that's warm enough, you can, that's pretty good. Yep. We're gonna pour this, in. Are you pouring or well, should I? I'm going to let you do it. Oh, okay. Um, again, we're making it nice and frothy, so just get it on there. Yep. Yep. Quite a bit there. Okay. Oh. So let's give it a few seconds just to sort of seal around the outside. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to get the lid put on. So we're going to raise that up a little bit. We'll put the lid on it. And because of the lid, you're kind of half steaming it and you're not going to burn it. You know when you have top is wet and then the bottom is burnt? Yeah. Best thing to do is just put a lid on it. Mm. And then it just goes. But because it goes, this is what happens yes. when you get froth. Well, well, I mean, you said, you know, when it's burnt on the bottom. and Well, That's what that never happens to me. Oh, yeah, well, you know, what? <laughs> I just I make up these dishes because I burn so much. Well, All the go. chefs I work with, I swear, they go, oh, 
Oh, let me cook it, Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> you just stand back and look pretty. Exactly. So <laughs> let's whack that on. And we're going to let that sort of cook. When it's sort of, you can see it getting um, a slightly darker color on top, then you know it's starting to properly cook through. When that happens, we're gonna to start to add on our herbs. Ooh. So I might actually get, and again, I'm going, I know we've put in a bit. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit so we don't burn it. We can start to chop up some of these. I'm gonna keep a few, actually you can chop it all up. Uh, just do it separately. I'm going to still put some of the spinach on it because I love spinach and then we'll put the coriander in it and then just a little bit on top. Okay. If you don't like coriander and I've heard that there are people out there that follow you that don't oh. like coriander, add parsley, dill, um, you know, tarragon, any of the herbs or a combination of them, throw it all in. Yep. Perfect. Do you like coriander? I love it. Absolutely love it. I just yeah. eat it straight out of the fridge. Straight out of the garden, straight rip out of the garden, it out rip and we're off to go. Just rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit food, I love it. So whilst we're waiting for that, do you want to give that a chop up? Yeah, sure. And it can be coarse, you know, coarse. however you like it. You know. And you it's all going it. in together, so. It's all going in together. You don't have to cut them separately. No, and the big, well, I just want to leave a little bit of coriander because I'm going to put that on for garnish on oh, okay. top, just well, to I'll, add that pop of green. I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of these stems and everything. Yeah. And I'll keep the... I'll keep the good stuff for later. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so the reason we want to chop this up is it just makes it um, faster to cook. So, like for instance, the coriander will chop uh, will cook very quickly. But the the I, if I would, was cooking this dish, I would actually take that spinach and just chop it up a little bit more. And the reason is, is the spinach leaf is much thicker, oh, okay. and so I just want the two of them to be able to cook at the same time. Right. There we go. Okay, now let's take a look. Can you see there's a froth on top? Yeah. And so what we're just doing is we're just slowly cooking it and it just, when you eat it, it's like this incredible frothy sort of flavor. Oh, it's wow. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I cracked myself up. <laughs> oh, man, that, that was an absolute cracking story. It was five minutes long, by the way, which is, which is about how long this has been cooking. And I think we've got to add some extra things in now. I think you don't like cooking. You just like to hear my stories, no, right? She's an absolute, she's got a million of them, that's we'll why. We'll share it with you later. <laughs> okay, this is looking good, huh? Yeah, it looks really good. It's, it's, it's really got up and it's nice and fluffy mm. and starting to bubble and it's got some height about it. Yeah, all right. Well, if you stop looking at it, let's pop it dun, 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 dun. Oh, look at it. It's firming up. You can see underneath all that colors coming through. And what I'm going to do now, just to sort of add that, and it's gonna just take, like we still want it to be nice and frothy, but we want also to this kind of really cook through. Oh, see that, see that in the middle? How oh. it's just starting to pop. Oh, oh, come on to me, baby. We're gonna put that in and now, well, you can, you can do this and I can do this. So we're gonna, sort of put some of this in after as well but i want to get just get some of that cooked up okay. oh god look at it just it just looks divine this greenery just makes me salivate okay just put it on for another minute okay okay because i've got a story for you oh god <laughs> wait let me have it <laughs> all, all right. right so it's been about a minute later i'll tell you what that was <laughs> hilarious oh the story queen I tell you. All right, this is looking really good now. Okay, we're gonna flip it. Like, no, we're not gonna flip it, we're going to do half. This is why we put the lid on, because it's properly cooked, so let's just do half. All right, wish me luck, oh, everyone. No, no. Are you left-handed? Yeah, I'm left-handed. What? I specifically put the handle over that way, thinking, you know, I'm being nice for you. Okay, all right, so half. Well, how's oh, this going? Oh, do you see it? Do you see how it's just moving with it? Yeah. How beautiful it is? Wow. This is great. And so what you're going to do is just put it on a bit of an angle. <laughs> well, the pan. Yeah, but the opposite way is because you're going to use the weight of it. Oh, you know what? Oh, I've never done that. That's yeah. probably why I always yeah. like ruin my omelets. Yeah. And it's trying to get this thing underneath. Yep. Oh, look at yep. that steam pop out. Yep. Yep. I'm going to turn that off oh. just so that you don't. Get me. Get under there, yeah. sunshine. Pop that. <laughs> Come on, Greg. 
Come on, okay, it's those stories. Wait a second, let's... <laughs> it's, it's like your stories have got me all wild up now. I'm gonna just, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make it a little bit harder on the bottom, so it makes it easier. Yes, that we're yeah. re... What? It's yeah. so light and fluffy. I think we're, I think we're <laughs> gonna have to use two. It's, the, it's so light and fluffy, this omelette, that... It's so Come on, get it over. I'm Come struggling on. to get it. Here we go, ah. underneath. Flip it over and then just do all the way to halfway and then flip. That's uh, it. Yes. Oh, it doesn't get better than that. Seriously. Yes. That is beautiful. I would actually let that sort of sit for a little while only because I don't like it too, like, too wet. Yeah. But some people also don't like it too dry. What would you like? You're ready like to it. eat it. Well, I am. Yeah. yeah it was okay. because with the lid on, it sort of cooked the top anyway. So, mm -hmm. so let's this over here. You ready to plate it? Sure. Yeah, so let's do this. Oh, can I get the red spatula? Yep. Well, I just need one. <laughs> just one of them. <laughs> we'll be fine. Okay, look at this. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then you finish it off with a few nice herbs on top. And wham, bam, it is done. Oh yeah, that looks amazing. Mm-mm. Add a little bit of extra cheese if you like. Oh yeah, I'd be adding like a whole packet, I reckon. Really? Oh yeah. Oh. I'm the cheese fiend. I, have, I think you have to be careful because then it can get really salty. Yep. <laughs> if it's cheese salt, it doesn't matter. This is ready to eat. All right, well it's taste test time. And I am really looking forward to this. Wow, that is so light, so airy. Come at me. <laughs> oh. Does it taste good? Mmm. Oh man. It is so light. It's just, it's like mousse almost. Mm. It's just frothy. It's mm. so good, isn't it? But kids prefer it. And I, what I find is, you know when you have an omelette and it's really dry, it kind of repeats on you and it feels like a lot of kids just don't like it. Um, but they don't have any of that. That's filled with spinach. Yeah. Yeah, you can't even taste it. Except that it's filled with spinach. But, <laughs> but it's pretty It's good. just mm. delicious. Mm. Mm. Like the saltiness of it's really good. Mm. I think it was good putting that extra bit of cheese on top. It's just sort of like, mm. Mm. so oh. good. Oh, that is good. Well, don't you love mm. good food? Absolutely. <laughs> and hearty. She is one of the best at making <laughs> some home, really good food. Home food, home food. Home food. Mm, mm. So thank you Love very it. much for no problem. stopping in again and yeah. whipping Always us up a, a delicious omelette. I mean, you just showed me some techniques today that I didn't even know. And I thought I knew everything. Well, at least I what? tell people I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I do that too. Yeah. <laughs> Two peas in a pod, we will see you. Well, I'll, I'll be watching you next time. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Hope you've got something good for us. Yep. <laughs> See you again. Bye. Bye.